Hey man, ice cream place, let's go there. 2018 Seoul, the Shinsu International School. So, this is the new world of adventure. It looks kind of like Kerning School City, except cleaner. Well, that's not really saying much. Oh, jeez, there goes my phone. That was quick. I need to figure out how to use this thing. Alright, so now we gotta play, uh, answer your phone. Alright, uh, let's... No, okay, fine, let's pick up. What do you think? My city must look pretty fancy to you, huh? This will be your home for a few days. Save my number since I'll be calling you from time to time. Thanks again for hooking me up. Now, we need to get you into some normal clothes. Your stuff might give you magical powers or whatever, but you look like you've thrown off the lot of a music video. <laughs> Cross the overpass and visit the school uniform shop. Visit the school uniform shop and tell them you're a transfer student to get a school uniform. Okay, so we might not be able to use any of our cool fancy powers here, but we're gonna have to at least pretend we don't have those cool fancy powers. Now, uh, no, uh, you, you, can, you can actually, like, move with the arrow keys here, but you can't jump. Uh, you know that, like, platformer element is gone, but no, don't worry, it's only just for this map, and just, just this map, that's it. Uh, shiny cl shiny club? I thought it was shiny club because, you know, Shinsu, but no, okay, alright, let, let's back in here. Alright, so this is where we get the school uniforms, right? And uh, let's pick one up. I can't believe how busy I am today. Jeez, can't these kids order their uniforms in advance? All the stress is giving me a headache. Oh, whoops. Huh, who are you? Do you know me? I've never seen you before, so why are you acting like you know me? Speak up, kid. You're a transfer student. From where, Mars? You're either a cosplayer or completely insane to be walking around in that. I'm not sure which is worse. Ouch. Look, I don't have time for a bunch of dumb questions. Make it quick. Uh, Can I have a uniform? I run a special promotion with the students since the school finances is most of the uniforms. I trade them for sewing needles. Sounds weird, I know, but the kids love it. They say it's one of their video games. Maybe you really are from Mars if you're this clueless. Look, I'm just too busy to help you out right now. If you're that desperate, I could give you one of the ratty old uniforms from the back. Heck yeah! Let's get those hand-me-downs. Here, dust it off a little. Maybe iron it. Hope no one looks at it too close. They're perfect. Don't say I never did anything for you. If you want a real one, bring me some needles next time. My uniforms are made from special form-fitting materials that will fit over whatever you're wearing and still look natural. I admit, I've never tried putting one on someone as ridiculous looking as you, but it's worth a shot. You only have to see it before trying on. Okay, so here's how it works. You, you get a skin for your uniform, right? And you can, like, tether it to another item and make it look like it. Uh, now, in the name of not changing my normal look for this, I'm actually gonna just t put on some random junk. Uh, not that. W why do I have two of these groomsmen suits? You know what, forget it, sure. It's not like I need the stats right now, anyway. Yeah! So now, if we put it on... There, we look like a kid. Or, a, well, I mean, ki a kind of, I, I guess. Uh, whatever. Shut up, let's go. Good fit, right? Don't forget to pair it with a proper outfit to make your uniform. That's interesting. The stats on my uniform didn't change, but the appearance did. There, you're all set. Now beat it, I've got a ton of work to do. I've been working on this one uniform for days and still nowhere near done. Don't give me that look. Even a transfer student like you must know who this absurd uniform is for. Anyway, get going. I gotta get back to work. Oh, my head. Oh, and if you lose your outfit, I might have something for you. At a reasonable price. Didn't you say the school finances these? Oh, oh, hey. Sup, Elwin? Wow, nice. So that's how it, they dress in the soul place. And you figured out how the phone works? Dude, there is a green button and a red button. How hard can it possibly be? Anyway, I've looked into the school you will be attending, and it's a little odd. It's called the Shinsu International Private School, and it's a new school set up by the Shinsu Corporation, whatever that is. This corporation is run by a super duper rich family that just added a new building to the school just for their only daughter. Anyway, be careful there. The school might be weird, but you're still weirder. Uh, to them, I mean. Looks like you've got a uniform, so I guess you're as ready as you will be. Oh, you shut up! I know it's a new world and all, but a school should be really obvious. Just look around. Now, I will say, you don't need to wear the uniform, but you totally should just, you know, it, it fits in. Now, if you're wondering, uh, you can use this appearance reset coupon to change your clothes back to the way they normally look. And you can actually buy different kinds of school uniforms. Uh, you know, just something to find your look. And do remember that, um, these are meant for overalls, though. So, if you got a top and bottom, uh, suck it. Uh, wow. Okay, do none of these uniforms have socks? I also feel anybody who really hates themselves enough to go for the 500 needles, uh, I mean, you know what, uh, you wouldn't want to spend your needles on this anyway, because hey, uh, there's, there, there's chairs, and that's more important. Oh, okay, I guess these ones got socks. And if you don't have an out, uh, an overall outfit for some reason, you can pick one up here. 
Like I said, you don't have to wear these, but you totally should. Anyways, uh, yeah, let's let's back out and uh, let's roll some dice. Hey, I rolled a six. I mean, it's not like it matters. We're not gonna get any combat for a long time. Shit, what did he want us to do again? Oh yeah, he wanted us to go look for the school building. Now, if you want to buy potions, uh, well, they don't have potions here. They have food. You know, to you, it's basically the same thing. Now, the interesting thing about this is that all of this food will actually temporarily give you one of the emotes that are normally in the cash shop. So that's an option. I gotta say, they've got some nice options for food here. Like, that California roll? Man, I'd want to buy some of these. Kind of interesting how they use mesos here. Wouldn't what, what they use, uh... What do they call Korea's currency? Whatever. Uh, let's let's close that. Hmm. All right. So there's Hugh Head again, and over here you can buy damage skins if you want. You can get some titles for if you really want to show off your waifuism or husbandoism to one of the knights, or if you really want to, you can go get a chair with one of them, which is what you really should be doing instead. There are some other things here that uh, y you could get as well that I would not recommend. It's, it's really about the chairs. Yeah, here's Erickson, the security guard. This area is off limits. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that is a building that looks like it would be off limits. L l let's go in here. Early morning, Shinsu International School. So this is the Shinsu International School. I wonder who that is. Oh, maybe they have a quest for me. Oh man, I really gotta stop talking like that. That is not how things work here. It's just how I interpret things as working here. What now, Kim? My handkerchief blew away and you were too slow to catch it. It's hardly worth chasing, ma'am. A new custom embroidered handkerchief is only a few hundred- Oh, oh, jeez. God, I'm rich, not stupid. Why would I spend that kind of money on a new one when I could just get the old back? A few hundred mesos is cheap. I spend more than that on pet food. Now then, she looks so familiar. Hmm, I wonder. All right, let's go talk to the old snobby rich kid. Welcome to our school. Who are you? Who is this? Is it a friend of yours, Miss Cygnus? No, I've never seen this person around. Maybe they're a transfer student. Can I help you? Or are you just going to stare for a bit? I feel like I've seen you before. You're so pretty, I thought you might have a quest for me. <laughs> oh, okay, I can't not pick that. <laughs> a cute, a quest. Hmm? Miss Cygnus, please. This person has tried to deceive you into opening up to them. I've seen it many times before. Forget about the handkerchief and get to school. But I really like that handkerchief. Handkerchief? You mean that thing that's right there? Hang on, I can get that for you. Oh, uh, oh, oh whoops, I did not mean to blast her with a laser. Let's try that again. Yeah, let's, let's just climb up that tree and, uh, oh, great, I broke my legs. Let's, let's try that again. Uh, mm, 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 yeah, look, making myself look real smart to the pretty girl. I found the handkerchief. Now I can return it and get my reward. Oh my goodness. Okay, okay, alright, let's, let's, yeah. Well, thank you, you're quite the climber. Do you do crossfit or something? I have no idea what that is, but here's your handkerchief. Man, you're in really good shape, like superhuman or something. Uh, 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 funny, because I'm a, yeah. Yep, I'm a big time hero back in my world. Is that so? Well, I guess being a hero keeps you fit. Now then, hero, what do I owe you for your service? I was always taught that no good deed should go unrewarded, so what'll it be? Uh, seriously, you deserve something nice for being nicer than my stupid drive. Oh, good lord. Uh, yeah, let's get some experience. Really, you don't want anything, are you sure? Alright, I, I really must get to my class. You're pretty unique, huh? Here, take my number. I could use another laugh later. Oh, jeez, that's all we are to you, a laugh. Great, see you. You exchanged numbers with Cygnus. She had a charming grin on her face. We got the pretty girl's number! Can I transform here? Yes, I can. Uh, that's great. Hey, you, listen well. I don't want you hanging around, Miss Cygnus. Huh? Why not? Do her quest not give good experience? <laughs> huh, what? Are you even- Ugh. No, you listen to me. I know how people like you are. You envy money and power and hate those who have it. So, you won't get close, pretend to be their friend, and stab them in the back. Well, I won't let you hurt Miss Cygnus like that, you hear me? What? I don't even have a backstab skill. I wonder if it says anything different if you're playing as a bandit. I- You- Ugh. Just get to class, you're already late. Uh, Kim gets in the car and speeds away. This place is so weird. I've never gotten so much grief for just finishing a quest. I guess I'll get used to it. You know, there's a medal out there that's like, finish 1,000 quests or something. This is a really good way to go for it. Now, unfortunately, I can't use my... What, what, what do they call my flash jump again? Octopush? They still call it Octopush. Great. I can't use that when I'm uh, transformed. So how about we just untransform? 
and uh, oh oh why hello there Shh, I'm undercover you do you friend wait Oh man, dash still works. Wait, hold up. What are my stats again? Yeah, I don't have the best range because this was just a crafting character for me, but uh, let's see. Okay, so dash only gives me a little bit of speed. Oh well, that's fine. It's, it's not like we need good stats for this anyway. Oh wow, this place is unusually tall. Oh boy. We're gonna need to like really build up those leg muscles if we want to get around here. I heard that first year classrooms are on the first floor. This must be it right now. Oh no, I'm a cool high. I'm joking. And besides, this is Korean, so that, that, that doesn't even make sense. All right, well, I guess let's go in the classroom. Settle down, everyone. We have a new transfer student today. Let's give them a warm welcome. How, do, how is it that everybody knows that I'm transferring here? Aren't I just filling in what, for what's his face? Hi, nice to meet you. Okay, I gotta make a good impression. Gotta act natural. Hey, what's your name? Hi, everyone. I'm Captain Punch, the hero of the Maple World. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, that's not your real name, right? Huh, you're a pretty funny new kid. Good lord. Alright, that's enough. Everyone quiet down. If you have questions, let's see some hands. Gotta catch these hands. What do you do for fun? Fun? Usually party cluster monster park runs. Oh no, oh stop this, stop this, what does that even mean? Something is seriously wrong with this one. Uh, alright, it's clear the new student is a weird one, but try not to bully them too much. Alright weirdo, take your seat! The first day of school was a new transfer student. It passed in a flash and I barely knew what was going on. No monsters to fight, no gear to find, I guess I'd better make some friends if I'm going to get through this. Yeah, add them to my buddy list, man. Give me a sec, there's something I gotta check. Alright, uh, let's see. Hi there, Francis. Oh, oh, you're here. Great. Hey there, newbie. What's up? I feel like we've met before. Well, you villain, reveal yourself. What, I haven't even done anything lately. Unless you caught the frog dissection incident yesterday. Ugh. Well, I could be wrong, I guess. Yeah, l let's try that again. You know what, maybe he's not a villain. Uh, never mind. Why are you staring at me like that? Do I have to stick up my face again? Do you have a face? Okay, alright, fine. Let's be friends. Really? You want to be my friend? Finally! My name is Francis. Here, let me give you my number. Let me guess, you're a big MMO junkie, right? I knew the moment I saw you. I mean, I'm more of a model kit guy myself, but I know my way around some, some, some inter, in, internets. Yep, you and I are gonna get along just fine. What's an MMO? Is that like a party quest? That is actually the kind of game you would be playing party quests in. Yeah, exactly. You don't actually play? I thought you'd love it. There's this one. Francis rambles about things that almost sound familiar, except they're all on the computer. You smile and nod. Hey, you know that earthquake a while ago? That was no joke. <laughs> okay, th this is a secret, but I caught some dark stuff falling out of the sky with my phone camera. What do you got, dude? Oh, well, he hello. This is... <laughs> Surprised? I know most people just brush it off, but I'm telling you, the recent earthquake had some amazing secret behind it. Maybe it's an alien invasion or something. Oh no, it's earthbound. How about we check this together? Uh, maybe? I mean, aren't we supposed to be doing the learning? Hey, Francis. Huh? Oh no. How about you go nerd out somewhere else? You're bothering me. But, but it's break time. What, did you just talk back to me? You know, it sounds like someone wants to be shoved into a walker today. How about it, new kid? Let me show you how it's done. You know, I like how the walkers in this game are actually small enough to feasibly shove in a small mapler inside. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the nerd. Not the nerd, the buff, the- whatever. You look like you can fight. You any good? Huh? <laughs> I don't care what you did before or where you came from, but I just transferred here too, and I need a partner if I'm gonna own this place. How about it? You wanna run this place with me? Look. This is the only way you're getting out of this without a swirly. Join my crew or say goodbye to your watch money forever. All I'm saying is, if nerds don't want to get beat, don't talk about dollies or whatever. You're a real jerk for picking on kids like this. Hey, Francis is a huge nerd, but nothing wrong with that. I hope you drop some good loot when you I beat your face in. You know, the fact that I'm a buccaneer makes this a lot funnier. I'm gonna go for that. Excuse me? Alright, that was gonna be nice, but now we gotta take this outside. Meet me behind the school. Oh, snap. Huh? What's behind the school? The bully kicks the door and steps outside without another word. Ooh, yikes, we've already got ourselves in a fight on the first day of school. Oh boy, let's try this again. 
Oh man, what are you gonna do? Jeez, this is all my fault. This is just like one of my animes, except I don't have a clever plan to get you out of this. You know, does he seem like somebody who would actually say anime correctly? I'm gonna say no, and I'm gonna say he's gonna say anime. Hey, why does he want me to come behind the school? Are, are you dense? He wants to beat you up! Oh, well that's silly. He could have done that right here. <laughs> <laughs> no way, one of the teachers would see you and you'd both get expelled. Look, you gotta be careful. I heard that guy knows street karate or something. I've learned to take a punch or two in my time, but he can stab you in half, you can't go! I probably shouldn't use my powers on a kid like that. Can you say something? Oh, uh, nothing. I think I'll go see what our friend has in mind back behind the school. Uh, uh, how do I get there? Are you really gonna go? Okay, it's your funeral. Go out the front door and head around the right. When you get there, I suggest apologizing immediately. The more you apologize, the less he'll hit you. If he hits you, apologize. That's how I managed to keep all my teeth. Are you sure about that, buddy? Okay, uh, wait. Quest? Okay, yeah, alright, we got the quest. Let's move. No, don't worry. You don't need to actually be, like, ready to handle a boss fight for something like this. Y you just gotta... Don't worry about it. But, actually, it's... I'm, I was going the wrong way. Let's, let's try that again. Wait. Yeah, yeah, it's right over here. Oh boy, what's the dog doing there at the behind of the school? Aw oh, yeah, my first real fight at the school. <laughs> Man, I can't believe that girly looking dude thinks he can go around with me. He won't be so pretty when I'm done with him. Alright new kid, come at me. Let me show you how I'm gonna run this school. Uh... Ooh boy. Hello there. Oh shit, he's knocked out. Yikes. Fist fight troublemaker. This one's made from the desire to triumph through strength. Whoa, a monster. I thought they didn't have those here. Oh my, I know what to do about this. Oh boy. Uh, mm. all right. Okay, wh what do you want? Fist fight troublemaker. Oh, hello. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right, let's, let's, let's buff up. Now, this is gonna be a pretty easy boss fight, but, uh, y you know, we're, we're just gonna... You know what, I, I wanna see how much damage I can do about this guy. I'm not pressing my buttons correctly. I am playing this on a laptop keyboard, which I'm not used to, because I, I used to main desktop. But, uh, yeah, well, hmm. Let's see. Uh, how about I throw a shark at you? Oh, you, you mean I actually gotta try for this? Yeah, okay, let's, let, let's give him the punch. Yeah, I gotta give him that beatdown, let's go. Bam! And he dies. Let's go. Ugh. Don't mess with me, dude. Top dog around here. Are you okay? Mama, the soup is too salty. Yeah, let's, let's just let him be. Oh, hey, phone call. Sup? Oi, I saw that. Didn't I tell you not to use your powers here? Uh, oh, I, you know, it's, it's about that. Wait, that really was a monster? And I guess what my teacher said is true. You know what's going on? Oh, okay. Grendel the really old kind of showed up out of nowhere. He knows what's going on. Everything, unfortunately. Come on back and you can talk to him. Return quickly, I have much to say. Yeah, let's back out. Oh, ah, uh, oh no, they're on to us. Hey, who's this person? Lily, the manipulation master. Another day, another mess of Elwins to clean up. Man, I sure love girls that are really good at man manipulation. Sup, Grendel? Welcome back. I must say, I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it. Never thought my worst student could manage to screw up this badly. We need to correct this immediately, but first, tell me everything you've experienced in the other world. Alright, alright. You explain the situation to Grendel the really old. I see, it must be a parallel universe, full of the same people we have in Maple World, but leading completely different lives, I'm sure of it. But first, we need to talk about parallel universes. It is an interesting question to ponder, but it might cause your untrained mind to explode, so forget I mentioned it, actually. The great magicians of Maple World have been aware of this parallel universe but for some time, but we never have opened a portal there. Ha, <laughs> I really am a genius. No, you're an idiot. We could open a portal, but doing so would allow the worlds to affect each other, possibly in disastrous ways, such as what our friend here just told us about. Oh, um, so let's just send the original student back to the portal and shut everything down. Easy, right? It's already too late. Because of you, the evil energies from Maple World have affected this parallel universe. Well, goddamn. 
We already fucked up just by exist. Oh, oh, right. Whoops. Okay. You, you know what? That happened before we showed up. Honestly, however it happens, we have to stop the spread. Starting at the point of origin. Oh no, we have to take down EA Games. You already established yourself in the other world as a student, yes? We can use that to our advantage. I can't stay here for much longer, so I brought help. Elwyn is known as the Berry Magician, but Lily is a Manipulation Magician. Far more helpful. Ah, oh, hey there. What's up? So you're Captain Punch. I'm Lily. I spend most of my time sorting out Elwyn's screw-ups. So this is all business as usual for me. Hey, knock it off. I haven't botched anything in at least a week. I've been straightening you out since we were born. That's just how it is. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. See, Elwyn is my dim-witted older brother. He's got a talent for barrier magic, but he never quite seems to know what to do with it. He trapped himself in a public toilet for three days with a barrier once. I didn't want anyone walking in on me. Perfectly reasonable. He also locked himself out of his own house with a barrier twice. I keep losing my keys, okay? Lily heaves a heavy sigh. As you can see, my poor brother is in a desperate need of our help. But we have to do this without making a scene. If the inhabitants of this other world get wind of this, there's no telling how they could complicate our efforts. For that reason, you need to keep up your appearance as a student at the Shinsu International School. I'll do whatever I can, but I gotta level with you. Those people are pretty weird. Take this, it should be useful in the other worlds. I might have more for you later. Friend story, the world beyond the closet. Alright, good luck to you, don't flunk out. Do we have to keep our grades up? Meanwhile... Next story. New student of fate? Yes, the new student of fate. It's an adorable little rumor I've heard going around. Where did you hear such a ridiculous thing? Ah, oh, look, she's so happy about it. Friend story. Episode 1. Cygnus and the new kid. And I do believe we will be cutting this video here, so we're gonna try to organize this by parts. Now, I'm recording this before I did the math of how many times I need to split each part, but uh, you know what, we'll figure something out. Unfortunately, each part is a few hours long, so we're probably gonna have some pretty- We're either going to have some pretty long videos, or we're going to be running this far into Maple Story 2's release. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna do, but until then, I'm Brancliffe. Goodbye, everyone.